Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to Jace Allen Guitar. And on this episode, I'm reviewing a cheap Chinese guitar, but the name on the headstock might just surprise you. Stick around. So I was going through YouTube the other day and uh, came across a surprising post about a guitar listed on Amazon and it was a name brand guitar but it was only $119 and it was only available on Amazon it seemed and so I purchased that guitar and I'm going to unbox it right now and you just might be surprised who made this guitar so let's check it out okay so this is the guitar in question and you can see from the box <laughs> it's a Squire that's right. This is the new Squire by Fender debut. Um, they're, they, it seems like they're only available on Amazon right now. If, if you Google this guitar, you probably won't find any information about it other than the Amazon listing and then a couple videos, probably this one as soon as I get it posted, and another one, which is where I found out about this uh, guitar from Average Joe's gear talk he's a great youtuber reviews a lot of different guitars and he's the one that originally posted the amazon listing and i'm not sure where he came across it so i decided i would get on amazon and and get it uh on this channel we like to talk about uh, cheap guitars uh, i like to stay under the 200 dollars range but i'll go maybe two or two or three hundred dollars um and i'm going to talk more about that later but anyway let's get to the unboxing uh, I've already cut it open but anyway it shows up in the the usual box uh, and as I always caution people uh, when you buy guitars online they'll show up in this box with the brand on it some will say a new guitar I mean it's, it's very obvious some of them are in the wedge shaped box um, if you live in an area that is prone to the porch pirates taking things Make sure you have somebody available to get this package because it's not very subtle of what's inside of it. So, okay, so there's a sort of a tray box inside this box. So it's packaged really nice. Um, it's not the usual wedge shaped box that you see a lot of guitars in. So this is a another sort of half box inside the box with a piece of cardboard over top you get your little fender welcome thing you get your package of course with your allen wrench and your uh, whammy bar and then it's got some foam and padding and a couple braces for the neck so it's packaged really well don't have anything wrong with the packaging and of course because it came from china they most of the overseas guitars Probably any guitar comes in this sort of a foam bag almost. And uh, probably to keep it from getting any damage or moisture on it. So, okay, there it is. Look at that. And if you can't tell, this is a matte finish. This is matte red and uh, a little foam over the five-way switch there. And then, so, real quick, this is a Squire. It says, Squire Stratocaster by Fender. I mean, at first, I wasn't sure if this was legit, but I had to buy it because it was $119, under $130 with tax. Free shipping if you got Amazon Prime. Uh, poplar body, uh, maple neck, uh, laurel, Indian laurel fretboard. I like the darker fretboards, rosewood or Indian laurel. I just think it looks sharp, uh, a little more traditional. Frets on it are great, no sharp edges. Uh, they're not the ball ends like the uh, Chinese, the other, like the fireflies and things like that. That takes a lot of time. Uh, I'm not sure what the nut is. I'll check that out. But it's the, you know, it's the Fender headstock. Tuners look pretty decent on them. One string tree. 
you know, you can eliminate a little bit of cost by, you know, uh, plate on the back, this, this here, uh, smaller trim block, uh, the cast saddles, the six uh, screw bridge, um, everything else is, these are probably ceramic pickups, of course. So we'll plug it in here shortly and see how it sounds. So yeah, so see there, it's got the, the Fender logo on the back and made in China. So I just find it very interesting. So l let me plug it in. We'll see how it sounds. I'm very curious to see how it sounds. Oh, one more thing. The action on it feels pretty good. The neck is nice. It's kind of thin. It's not a real huge uh, C shape. It's, well, I guess this would maybe be considered a D shape. I don't know, but it's, it's thin. So it feels good. Fender knows how to make necks. That's the one thing I'll say. Um, and it's the it's the thin body. It's an inch and a half thick. Uh, so you're not gonna you're not gonna mod this with the actual Fender parts. You'd have to use Squire or uh, Chinese made secondhand parts to mod it. So okay, let's get it plugged in and we'll see how it sounds. And then we're gonna talk about what's going on in the guitar world right now that explains why this guitar happened. All right, I got it all tuned up here. Um, a few things right off the bat. Um, the strings on this are really good compared to some of the other guitars that I review, uh, like the Firefly and that Gear It uh, guitar. Strings on those are pretty bad. Right off, right out of the box, these are pretty nice. So I'm going through uh, Morgan Amps, uh, neural by neural amps, I think it is. It's an amp modeling uh, program. It's one of the better ones that I've found. I think it sounds really good. This is just a clean uh, amp uh, sim with a little bit of reverb on it. And uh, I am and I am tuned up. And the strings seem. Like they're stable they're not stretching much um, so the w one thing that I've noticed right off the bat with this guitar is that the intonation is not set correctly on it which is kind of a bummer because if you're buying this guitar for a beginner you know nothing about guitars at all uh, when you get this out of the box tune it up and play it you're gonna wonder why it's out of tune that's a G chord open G sounds pretty bad listen to the low notes see how off those are and it is in tune I mean it is in tune so if you come down to the 12th fret on the low E the A the D they're off quite a bit they're off like 15 is it cents on the uh, tuner now if you go to the harmonic, those are on. So maybe that's what they set the intonation to was the harmonics. But if you if you hit the G note on the E, it's I mean it's terrible. It's like 25, 25 cents uh, off. That's quite a bit plus 25 so it's sharp they're sharp um, so yeah one of the complaints that I had in the comments for the other videos was uh, that you know people were saying oh god you got to tune the guitar it sounds it's really bad and some of that's me the way I play because I jam on the on the frets and if they're tall frets it'll go out of tune because I'm very used to playing acoustic. When I, I play a solo gig, mostly, I play acoustic. And then in the band I'm in, I play bass. So a little bit of it is my method. But then when I pay attention and concentrate, it's still out of tune. And, and the problem is, is you get these guitars right out, doing right out of the box. Uh, the strings are pretty bad and the intonation isn't quite set right. So like the Gear It guitar, that one was pretty bad. So I, I put new strings on it, set the intonation on it, and now it sounds pretty good 
Um, so I'm going to do a, a like a recap on that. So I'm kind of hesitant to do these unboxings, uh, but I think you should know first of all what how it's shipped. Uh, if you're paying 100, 200, 300 dollars for a guitar, you want to make sure it shows up all in one piece. That's usually not an issue when you're buying from a reputable place. Um, so, but it's kind of interesting to see how well they're packaged and everything. And then right out of the box, I think it's important for people to hear how it sounds and to know if it's going to need a setup. Um, some people don't really know much about guitars other than how to strum them. And so that might be an issue if you're buying a guitar, especially if you're buying a guitar for a youngster and they don't really know anything about uh, how to tune a guitar and you may not either as, as a parent. So yeah, so that's that. Um, <laughs> barring that issue, uh, it sounds really good. These are just regular ceramic pickups and I think they sound quite nice. Other than the fact that it's out of tune. Here's the middle position. And then the fifth position. Yeah, it sounds really good. Um, I don't have anything to complain about as far as the tone, um, but I have to get the intonation set up on it and I'll do a recap just so that you can hear how it sounds um, the way it's supposed to sound. Um, so yeah, what else can you say about it? It's a guitar. Um, so anyway, let me talk about why this is happening. Um, I thought about doing a separate video on this. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just summarize real quick on this and I'll do a separate video on it. Um, the A lot of other YouTubers that review guitars are all calling right now the time period that we're living in the golden age of cheap guitars. And I think I have to agree with them. And so I think the manufacturers of uh, like Fender and Gibson are, are going to take notice of these cheap guitars made in China. And so I think this is Fender's answer to that. This is, like I said, this is $119. It was only available on Amazon. It's from China. Let's talk about some of the things that make this affordable. First of all is the fact that it's made in China. But there's some differences between this and the Firefly and the Gear It guitar that make this a profitable guitar for Fender. And the some of the reason it was a poplar body, which is, you know, I like that better than the basswood. It's got a little more weight to it. It, it feels more balanced. So poplar body, obviously built on a CNC machine, matte finish, uh, spraying a guitar, clear coating it, polishing it, all that takes time. This is probably a one step finish because it's, it's, it's matte. You just spray it on and it, you know, get an even coat and it doesn't look like it's super thick paint. I'll have to take it apart and check it out, but it's, it's not like the candy coating I call it on, on some of the other guitars where it's like, you know, you're looking at about a 16th of an inch thick of a uh, finish on them. So this is very thin. Uh, another thing is the neck, and I noticed this on a lot of the really cheap Chinese guitars, the neck is either not finished at all or it has a very light finish on it. There is no, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's either a satin finish on the neck or there's, I, I'm thinking there's no finish on it. It's just super, you know, polished, sanded, smooth. And then uh, fretboard is awesome. Fretboard is, I think it's Indian Laurel. Um, frets are a little 
a little gritty. They're not totally smooth. So they probably didn't polish the frets. Uh, the tuners seem pretty good as far as that goes. They're not locking tuners or anything. And then, like I said, they only have the one string tree, which maybe that helps eliminate some costs. And then ceramic pickups and everything. And then the, the pickguard is three ply, so that's pretty nice. And then these are the thinner metal strap buttons, the old style vintage strap buttons. Neck is straight. I checked that out. Neck is perfectly straight. Um, oh, another thing. This guitar comes with three months free of Fender Play. So I'm going to sign up for that and do a, a video review on that. Um, because I could use some lessons. <laughs> so anyway... There, there you have it. Um, I'm going to have to probably do a separate video on the setting up the intonation and that. But it's it's a great guitar. It sounds good. Um, I think we are witnessing the arms race of cheap guitars. And uh, it could be good and it could be bad. It could mean that we start seeing a huge variety and some... Uh, features and design that you don't see as manufacturers compete with one another and try to stand out or the everything will collapse and you'll start to get uh, like a race to the bottom how cheap can we make them and then the quality and that might suffer um, so you never know you never know how this is going to play out but right now <laughs> at least for right now you know, we're enjoying uh, a renaissance of cheap guitars. So anyway, there it is. Fender Squire debut. Fender Fender Squire designed and backed by Fender. Oh, this has a two-year manufacturer's warranty too from, from tip to tip. They, they say they warranty every down to the last screw. So that's another, that's another great... Uh, that's another great thing. So, okay, anyway, that's it for me, Jace Allen Guitar. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.